Hello, you're on Pablo Spot, and this is DevSchools, a rapid show and tell of tools and practices in cloud technology in general. So if this tickles your fancy, hit the subscribe button. So let's get into it. Today's episode will be a show and tell on writing multi-stage Docker configuration files. As we deal with more complex containers, we would also face requirements of having to build Docker images with the smallest possible size. One way to achieve this is by implementing multi-stage Docker configuration files. I will start by laying down the requirements. So my requirements involve running tests as part of my Docker configuration file and also running security scans on all the libraries that I'm using as part of my application. With a single stage Docker configuration file, I would set this up like this. And now if I head to my terminal and run my Docker build, my Docker build is complete. And if I go ahead and check the size of my Docker image, so what can I do to make this better? Let me head back to my code. I'm going to introduce a new from block. The from statement is usually an indication of a stage inside a Docker configuration file. From blocks proceeds with a reference to either a Docker image or another stage inside the configuration file. And if I head to the top of this configuration file, the first from statement that you see here is labeled as base, which is also the name of the stage. And this is what I'm going to use as reference to create my test stage. I will move all the relevant steps for testing from my base stage to this new test stage. Let me head to my terminal and then rerun my Docker build. You will see from this console log that I now have a new stage called test. One thing to keep in mind is that because my test stage inherits from the base stage, the test stage will wait for the build stage to complete successfully before running its set of steps. I also need to create a separate stage for my sneak scans. So let me head back to my code and define a new from block. I will use an official sneak image for Python as the base image and label this as scan. Let me go ahead and move all the relevant sneak steps from my base stage into this new stage. And because I'm using a Docker image as reference inside my from block, this means I don't need to download the relevant binaries anymore since they are already packaged with the image. And in order for the sneak scan to work, I need to define my sneak token environment variable inside this new stage. Let me head back to my VS Code terminal. And then I'm going to export my sneak token on this session and then rerun my Docker build passing the new build argument for my sneak token. I now have a new stage called scan that is run as part of my Docker build. What you will also notice is that my base and test stages are not run at all. This is because my scan stage does not have any link to any of the other stages inside my configuration file. What Docker does is it starts running the last stage defined inside the configuration file, and then it will work out any dependencies from that stage. To prove this further, I will head back to my VS Code, switch the position between my test stage and my scan stage, and then head back to my VS Code terminal and rerun my Docker build. What you will notice this time is that my base and test stages are run, but my scan stage is missing. This is because neither my base nor my test stages have association with my scan stage. What should I do to make sure all my stages are run during my Docker build? What I will do is create a new stage and use my base stage as the baseline. But before I add all the other steps into this stage, I will need to go back to my test stage and then I will add an extra step on this stage to create a flag to indicate that the stage is complete. And then I will head to my scan stage and do the same thing. And then back to my final stage, I will add steps that will download the complete files from the two stages. And now if I head back to my VS Code terminal and rerun my Docker build, I can now see all my stages being run. And finally, if I go ahead and check the size of my Docker image, notice that the size is significantly smaller than what we saw earlier. And that's it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, see ya.